We're back. Sports Unplugged, man. Last segment. I'm just saying, dog, before y'all just go jump down Randy Moss' throat, man, kind of look at them numbers, man. I know you look at the numbers. I'm not looking at the numbers because if you look at the numbers, it's Jerry Rice. You look at the, you look at the Super Bowl wins, and, and I hate when people play that argument. Super Bowl is a team, especially in football. Now I can see in basketball one person being the difference maker. Well, I also believe that the quarterback – Super Bowls kind of work for quarterbacks, many, but not, but not, but not skill position. How not, many MVPs did Jerry Rice win? None. I don't none. think he won any. Steve Young and right, uh, and Joe Montana. Like Super Bowl, like Super Bowl rings mean something for quarterbacks, right? Not, not, not like running backs, receivers, linebackers. Because you're mean. not the trigger man. Nope. Somebody got to get you the ball, right? All right, uh, let's go to. Uh, Let's talk about concussions in the NFL. Yeah, well, you know, with, with, with concussions, the Everybody's way they are, suing. everyone's Everybody suing. Everybody's putting their lawsuit in. Um, you having, uh, you know, Junior Seau's family suing the league. Um, here's my thing. Um, you old people need to go ahead and shut up and sit down. Junior Seau's family, I understand. But let me ask you about your financial situation. The NFL probably paid for most of what you got right now. Yeah. Because Junior was taking care of you. Everything. Everything. So do you want to give those checks back? Would you like to give back the money that Junior gave you from the checks he was getting from the NFL? Yeah, a week, which were probably pretty hefty. Now I can see if he wasn't Junior Seau, but if he wasn't Junior Seau, it wouldn't be news. Right. So, I mean, my... my I think about Javon Belcher's family. Right. You know what I'm saying? What are they going to do? Right. The the thing about it is when you sign up for a sport like this and you get hurt, you're going to sue the league? That, well, they didn't do enough to protect her. You play a sport where the job is to run into somebody as fast and as hard as you can. Mm-hmm. That's like a Marine saying, hey, my family's not going to get paid because I signed up to be an infantryman. So when we do have a war or a conflict, I'm the first one in. Mm -hmm. There are going to be bullets flying at me. So now I'm going to sue because I wasn't protected enough. Here's the problem. I'm not saying that the NFL is is, they already making the game touch football. And and I kind of agree that in in a a few years, what's going to be the purpose of playing football if you can't touch people, you can't hit people. But you, like a guy like Rodney Harrison, who was known to just blow people up, Right. Dismantle and destroy them. Now you gonna come put a lawsuit in, mm-hmm. dude? You, you, I'm, and I'm not just not. I'm not picking on him, but the, you're one of the reasons why people around here jacked up, right? Because that was your job to knock people out. I mean, so, so I mean, do I feel bad? I, I I get tired of the players co- players complaining. This is the sport you chose. You've chosen since high school. Nobody in the NFL picked up football in college and made it to the pros. Right. Everybody, this has been your life. Whether you started it junior, senior year high school, but you didn't just wake up one morning and say, I, me and you can't get up and say, you know what? I'm going to get the NFL. Shit. Right. It's been a lifelong thing. Mm-hmm. Merrill Hodge, all these guys, you understood. And if you notice, none of the super old schoolers are coming up with it. You know, I like the guys that played in the Chuck Bed and Eric era. They're just like, whatever. The Dick Buckers, the Mike Dickers, they like, look, man. Mike Dickers like, I'm walking on my second pair of hips. Well, Mike Dicker is fighting for the players. The new players, right. He is fighting for the players and, and, and does go up and talk uh, when it comes to these uh, union unionized situations in Congress and, and, and when it comes to the government and concussions. About how to make the game better. Yeah, yeah, and also he's also backing the players when it comes to their lawsuit, too. He is ba- See, I, I just he's think backing like- them. But the thing is... The thing about it is, I just I just feel that it is a mess of situation to be in to sue a company that you made your livelihood. You're biting the hand that feeds you, or fed you. Yeah, maybe some of them. And still feeding you well, get a pension. Well, see, that's why my thing is, what their, what is their pension like? Are they not getting paid anymore? Are there medical bills now? Now, now if it's that situation, fine, I have a problem with that. But don't sit up here and say you're gonna sue because, because you I'm, got concussions. That's the game. Yeah, that's like a boxer saying that's like Thomas Hearns. Who took too many punches to the head? Or Ali saying they're gonna sue the sport of boxing. You can't. It's, you get hit in boxing. It's, it's part of the game. It's part of the game, and and I just think the whole thing's silly. And you see, um, when you see Ed Reed saying, "Hey man, this is what they signed up for." When he, when talking about all the all the, the old school players That's suing, real he's talk. Like, this is what they signed up for. That's he, real talk. Like, you're not gonna see me sue anybody. And I think the old school players are saying it because they don't they did not they didn't make the money. That these guys are making. I understand now. that too a little bit because, like, 
<laughs> you can say that, Ed Reed. You just signed a contract for thirty million, right? But your game check was my career, contract for right. my career. Your 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 three hundred thousand dollar game check a week, right. Was my career exactly. So. I get that, but at the end of the day, when does it become whining and just frivolous complaining when you know good and well that when you signed up for this? I'm going to get hit, right. whether it was with a leather helmet with no face mask, whether it was a one-bar face mask, whether it's a new Rydell mm-hmm. space mask. You're going to get hit. And you're going to feel it. Very much so. Um, no, no Take thing, the pads off of them and turn it into a flag football league. Well, like we talked about earlier with uh, you know concussions and masking the pain, you know, uh, we talked about Ray Lewis and deer antler spray. Yeah. Um, this is something we don't really talk about too much. Baseball. Baseball. Uh, I don't have all the names, but only one name really matters in this whole thing. A Rod. Melky Cabrera also was Yeah, Melky. Well, we knew Melky was, uh-huh. you know, on something. But the audacity of Mr. A Rod, if this is true. Let me ask you a question. If this is true, is he over? Yes, he's done. He's done. Nobody. You think no one, no, no team will take a chance on he, him? Have you seen him play lately? No, he's been, yeah, he's been terrible at the plate. My thing is, and he's this. been hurt a lot. It, 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 it sucks. To see, um, oh. it, it sucks. I'm sorry, I got thrown off by breaking news in in in, uh, in sports. Um, the uh, it, it sucks. That, cause I'm like, first of all, A Rod's agent is amazing, first and foremost, because when he signed that new ten year, to sign two ten year twenty five million dollars a year deals is amazing. Oh to my me. god. But to do that, to 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 say to the Yankees, give me a ten year deal. A Rod was like thirty five at the time. Why would you give <laughs> anybody, anybody a ten year deal? Oh, he robbed when them you were thirty five. He robbed them. And then he said, "Well, we can find somebody. We'll go do that." Then now I'm not going to say if they hadn't done that, they probably wouldn't have won the World Series that year because no. they won the World Series right after that. Yeah. But they ain't going to sniff the World Series anytime soon. How does this make and and on a team where secretly you know that you know A Rod and and Captain America who I Derek Jeter, Derek Jeter were cool but it's always that that A Rod like God I wish you you know we cool but at the same time I hate you what does this do for Derek Jeter's popularity now he's just Captain America he's mm-hmm. just the ultimate he can't do he now. can't do any wrong and the thing is after the year he had last year you know he's looking pretty good and right now and got hurt yeah. During the playoffs. Now, because A-Rod, wouldn't, they were saying he might not even play the season anyway. No, because so of you're the gonna, So you're going to lose the season. Uh, the hip that probably is going because of what? Steroids. Steroids. It's breaking down. So, for I mean, but I started off saying this. The audacity of A-Rod to not only get caught once, but then to continue doping, you're a damn fool. Because... All the eyes are on you because you're chasing that damn uh, home run uh, title. And the thing is, people might have given you a freaking pass, pass. if you had broken that t- broken that record. Because people still and wanted you. Clean. People still wanted you to yeah. break that record, even if you came out and said that you did it. Barry. Exactly. Now, if this comes out to be true, you're done. You're done. You're but what does finished. it say for the sport of baseball? Because he ain't the only one. Mm-mm. Because, but because of who he is, he's going to get. Persecuted before anyone else. He should. Yeah, like, I, I, no, I, I'm not. I'm, that's not. What I, I understand that he right. should. Right. But at the same time, once again, is this a thing like cycling? The whole sport is dirty. Here, man. The thing is, like, we they thought and that we, has lost control. They thought that we were out of the whole steroids era because I'm like, no, they'll find another way to do it. It's just how it's done. It's like, okay, you have busted us in this. We're gonna find another another thing, a way of doing this. I mean, science doesn't stop, you know. And they're gonna do things that they're getting they're not, slicker. They're getting slicker, and yes. and and then and, and the uh, MLB don't test for everything. Listen, I'll say this. Me personally, I don't have. I think y'all can juice problem, all you want. Juice all you want. The problem that I have with it, you got young kids that are watching you, and. It bleeds down to them. Mm-hmm. Now, if there was a way I could filter it where this high school kid said, I want to be jacked like so-and-so, so I'm going to roar it up, no. fine. But you grown men, if Look, y'all want to kill yourself, get brain tumors, pump up and knock balls 600 feet out the park, I'm going to watch baseball every Look, day. Look, man. Look, man. But when you can't go from— in, in my high school, 
in, in high school, and I was in high school from 1996 to 2000. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Appreciate it. Asshole. Sorry. Uh, so I was in high school from 90... Yeah, a little bit after me. Yeah, uh, 96 to 2000. And even at that 96. time... <laughs> wow. What was I doing at 96? I was coming back home from the army. <laughs> so I was a freshman in high school at the time. Jesus. So... Christ. Yeah, thanks so, a lot. No problem. So... <laughs> so... Even then, guys were roiding up in, in, in school. You but know what I'm saying? It. So they I mean, were this because of the blueprint that they were looking at other guys. I could see Barry Bond saying, "Hey, look, I got to do this because I want to keep my spot." There's 19 year old kids coming here, straight athletic ability, mm -hmm. just natural, mm -hmm. natural raw strength and mm -hmm. raw power, and he's gonna take my spot. I need to be able to recover. Not even so much to get. Big and stronger. I need to be able to recover. I'm a better ball player than him, but I can't be on the field as many days as right. I can. Right. My, my thing is, look, as long as you guys are allowing cortisone shots to be used. Same difference. I have no problem with anybody using anything to help them play at all because – Technically, at the end of the day, it's still an even playing field because everybody basically is doing it. And for the ones that are not doing it, God bless you. Good job. A-Rod's – so you, you really feel he's done? Yes. I think, well, see, the thing is, I thought he was done just because of the way he was playing and the way he keeps on, his body keeps on breaking down on him. I thought he was done anyways. I'm like, look, you, you were asking a lot by giving this man a 10-year deal when he's 35 years old. The man, and especially if he's not doing steroids anymore or doing whatever the hell he was doing, so that means that he's probably going to break down even faster now, which means he's probably done by 37, 38, which guess what? He is. He is 38 years old. Uh, Barry Bonds probably wouldn't be playing as well as he did at 40 no. as he did if he wasn't on something. No. So I'm like, why in the hell would you give this man a 10-year deal? Buy him the damn Yankees walk, A-Rod. And what are they doing right now? They're trying to find a loophole Does not to pay get him out that to get out that contract, which I think they probably will. Please believe that. Please believe that. Wow. Please believe that. Like A-Rod might be the dumbest... Yeah, if if he, this is if true, true, he's the dumbest guy. And and another thing is, with all that money, that guaranteed cash, just play. And if, and when you start sucking, enjoy being a Rich. washed up like, man. I suck, but man, that that game check of three hundred and seventy five thousand. You got a ring. <laughs> you ran through Cameron Diaz. Yeah, you've had your, his wife was bad. Madonna, you was nailing Madonna, no. but. Mm -hmm. Always one thing that's going to haunt him. I can never be Captain America. Captain America had all the hoes. He got more rings than me. He, he had all the hoes, and he had hoes, and no one knew that he, he had. Bad, bad. Then when you pop, you're like, you want it, huh? He done built a castle out in Florida. A-Rod wants to be Derek Jeter. Hey, let me ask you this before we get This is what I want to end this thing with right here. Let me just, let me just, let me just, okay. I got to look at another oh, no, picture no, no, of no, Colin no. Kaepernick's girlfriend. I'm sorry. No, no. She bad. No, oh, yeah. Would you rather. Shout out to the Gorilla Warrior, too. He's locked in. Yeah. Would you rather be Captain America, Derek Jeter? Would you ha like to have it where no one knows who you messing with? Uh-huh. Or would you like to be more like A-Rod where you say, yeah. Yes, I'm banging that. That's tough. As a man, think about it. As a man, yeah, I hit that. I like Derek. Let me tell you why. Because Derek could trick off on his females because nobody knew who he was dealing with. Nope. A-Rod couldn't trick off. Nope. Soon as you saw A-Rod. Aren't you in Cameron Diaz? <laughs> <laughs> Who's this? Can you know, this random fan. <laughs> Who's this? I thought you were with. Derek, you could be in a bar with a bra one night, and they be like, ah, man, Derek yeah. always coming through here with some average chick. Right. Meanwhile, she's an heiress to the throne <laughs> in Dubai. Yeah, you Derek. don't know that, though. I, yeah, I'm, I'm taking Derek. You taking? I think everybody takes Derek's side, I'm man. taking Derek, and I want the whole thing. I want the biracial background. I want everything. <laughs> I want all the good hair. I want it all. <laughs> Because the he's a king in New York. Derek can't do as Jeter. He a boss. That's Jeter. He's you can't a, do nothing. And if somebody says something about him. You get punched in the face. Derek, look at him. That boy, you can't touch Derek Listen, Jeter. man, man. No, that I, is the ultimate out of. I'm gonna Mets tell fans love. Look, man. To wrap this up, out of all athletes on this planet, no one is revered, I believe, right now. As Derek Jeter is in New York, I 
I honestly believe that only, be, and not because of his great athleticism or anything like that. Just because of his persona, still his aura. Do you yeah. think he's the greatest New York athlete of all time? That's for another day. That's for another day. We're running out of time. We got to go. Dang. We got to go. Okay, real quick before uh-huh. you leave. Before you leave, greatest, greatest African American movie soundtrack ever. Oh. Your opinion? Space Jam. On that note, we can, I don't. I'm not gonna even <laughs> say anything. Excuse my French, but this motherfucker just said Space Jam, which it was dope. <laughs> but I'm gonna go, and I and this is crazy. But I'm gonna have to say Whitney Houston's Bodyguard for number one singles. Off you that. can't really, you can't really do nothing with or that. Or Juice, yeah, Juice was nice. Yeah, Minister Society. Hey, everybody, go listen to that Space Jam and don't tell me that. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be the topic for next week. Get Come yours on. together. Best movie soundtrack. We out. Medium Med, Leon Rogers, Sports